In times of need, Acadiana always pulls together to help others. Well, nine days ago, Hurricane Ida ripped through southeast Louisiana, leaving many people with no place to turn for immediate help. News 10's Elise Corville introduces us to two women who are willing to step up and feed thousands of people, but at least they need the community's help, right? Hey, Darla, day in and day out, we see the videos and pictures of devastation in southeast Louisiana. I spoke to Rita Touchette and Ashley Eads, and they tell me their biggest goal right now is to get as many hot meals to people as they can. These people are hurting. I don't know what else to say. They're starving. They're hungry. Rita Touchette and Ashley Eads are teaming up to help those displaced because of Hurricane Ida. After witnessing firsthand the devastation and impact the storm has had on families. You just can't imagine it. The Category 4 storm ripped through southeast Louisiana, leaving people behind to pick up the pieces of their lives. Sunday, Touchette and Eads visited the area, bringing supplies and meals, feeding over 1,200 people. They need hot meals. They cannot continue on bologna sandwiches. We had a man come to us yesterday, and <sighs> tears in his eyes, and thank you. This is my first hot meal, you know. When I asked where the inspiration comes from, with tears in her eyes, Touche recalls a time in her life when tragedy struck and she needed help. During Rita, Hurricane Rita, my mother lost everything. So I know what these people are going through. And uh, mm. so it's near and dear to me. Eads and Touche tells News 10 1200 is not nearly enough. They want to do more, feed more people, but they need community support. I have a guy that's willing to uh, to cook a thousand, a thousand plates of food. I need donations. Miss Rita has the list of donations that we need. Um, we can make this big, y'all, if we just come together as a community. And to see a list of what donations are needed or just to volunteer, you can visit this story on our website, klfy.com. In the studio, Elise Corville, KLFY News 10.